Hi everyone, it's Shooter Rex here. So I just got back from road trip so that I could finally get my box of small pistol primers. I was able to find some at Shooter Supply in La Mira. This is about a 50 minute drive from my home and in my first road trip, I brought my friend Bill with me. This was on the second day that I decided to come back and on the third day, I was able to get a box of Federal small pistol primers. Altogether, I just have about 3,000. But that's not the only thing I decided to get today and that'll be something that I'll be featuring on this video this will be an unboxing video. Let me show you a preview of what it is. So I decided to get this Dylan XL 750 and with it I also got this case feeder and some other stuff. I actually purchased this at the place that I work for which is at Shields Sports in Appleton, Wisconsin. Hey everyone, so it's me again, Shooter Rex. I'm gonna be doing the unboxing video of my new Dylan XL750. Let me tell you why I've decided to invest on a reloading press. For someone like me who's getting into competition shooting, I definitely need a lot of ammunition, uh, especially the 9mm and a 45 ACP, but right now it's very difficult to find some. And as you know, I actually work for a company called Shields, right there, Shields All Sport, and I work at the hunting and fishing, but I specialize in and handguns in particular. So. Even with my connections working for Shields, I have a hard time finding uh, the supplies for factory ammo. This is not actually a setup video because there are so many uh, videos on YouTube already for that on how to put together your Dylan uh, reloading press. And there's one particular that I really like which is by Gavin Tube, uh, that's his channel. Uh, better watch the unboxing and the setting up of his video for his Dylan XL750. So now let's get to it, to the ones that I've purchased in order to put together my own reloading press. So first I'm going to start off with uh, some of the smaller accessories that I decided to get. This conversion kit. This is a set of dies for a 45 ACP conversion kit because the one that I have right now is uh, actually chambered into a 9mm ammo uh, for the XL750. So because this is the other conversion that I needed, I decided to already get it while it's available. A small item that I also decided to get is this um, case gauge for a 9mm ammo but at some point I would like to buy the Hundo 100 rounds case gauge. Also with this I also grab this premium bullet puller um, which a lot of my friends advised me that it's gonna be really handy and also I got this uh, reloading pull bar and this one is the one that has the rotating handle. I know that the press would come with one that has a rounded handle um, but I decided to just grab this as well. So with my purchase I decided to also get the Dylan case feeder for the 650 and 750 but with that I also grabbed this plate that's gonna be installed uh, with that case feeder. I also got this Hornady electronic scale which will be really handy especially in measuring the powder weight of each bullet. And also I decided to get this Dylan uh, primer flip tray. Now here are some additional uh, 
items that I decided to get along with my purchase of the Dylan XL750. So in this box, I have the Dylan Precision Stand, which would allow me to have a much more sturdier setup. You can, as you can see, we have the two side plates the necessary screws and washer. It also comes with this, what they call a cartridge chute. So this is where the finished cartridge will be sliding off to. And it comes with this manual right here. The next thing we're going to be looking at is this Dylan Precision case feeder that has a variable speed uh, setting to it. So right now we're just cutting off uh, the tape. look at what we have inside so we have this actual um, kind of like the funnel type and where we'll be setting up the small pistol rotating plate as you can see, the controls are here. There's the switch button, and I'm assuming this is actually like the controls for the speed of uh, how you want or how fast each of those cases would be coming in down the tube. Okay, so that's that part. Setting it down right here. Then it comes with the adapter or the power supply. Looks like it comes with different uh, types of plugs. That way you can select um, the necessary type of the necessary type of plug that you need it for. This one looks like it's something for to be used if you need a necessary, like a transformer or a converter. We're just taking a look at the, all the other different plugs that came with it. Just to give you an idea. This one. And you just gotta look through the manual and see which one that you will definitely need to attach to this. And as far as the manual goes, here it is. You could simply just follow the instruction manual as far as setups and has some nice printed illustration and everything that needs to uh, be set as far as installing also the 
plate spacer washer and the case feed plate. So there you go. Inside the box it has a nice foam padding. Fits perfect for the product that is being shipped. Now because this is the one that I'm sure that I'll be using, I'm just going to install this right now. So there you go. Now on to the last piece for our press. Um, this one is actually not just the basic setup. As you can see, there are more items that are included with this uh, package besides the XL750 reloading press. So, okay, let's go ahead and let's check out what's inside this box. So first we have like the, the fastest way to set it up. And this is the more detailed manual for it. This one also came with a book already, which is this 50th edition for reloading handbook, Lehman. It also came with, uh, with this pistol primer indicator. It somehow gives you an alarm to let you know that if you're running low with a primer and so this will be very handy you have the necessary tubes for your primers some product info Additional info with uh, Dylan has a nice padded foam again. It also came with the Dylan case lubricant, which I actually bought one the other day. Also comes with the press handle, this is the one that I was talking about, but I got the other handle as well. Comes with this vertical tube for attaching the case feeder. Then we have the powder measure that came with a fail safe. This is the tube. The necessary tubes for case feeder. Oh, and look, it also came with a case gauge already. Another foam pad. Boy, it sure really is uh, covered well. And padded so that we can be sure that it's already safe. Has the nine millimeter die set to it. comes with the box. Uh, it looks like this is the accessory parts. This is the 9mm die, but I'm surprised that it's not installed because it should have been pre-packed. Oh, and look at that. It also came with a primer flip tray, so I guess I'll be returning the other primer flip. Okay. 
then we have the necessary screws and washer and this wrench. It also came with this digital caliper that's uh, obviously has a bat battery operated. Let's see what's in here. Looks like it came with a scale already. So I didn't need the other scale. And of course, the press itself. Boy, this is definitely heavy. So here's everything that I need to put together and I am fortunate enough to have a friend who's willing to help me assemble everything to help me get started with my reloading journey. I'm actually going to be using these DG bullets and you can check them out at dgbullets.com. I got a 500 round of 147 grain or this 124 grain. A couple of uh, small pistol primers that I got um, with driving all the way down to Lemire, Wisconsin. And I'll be using these tight group powder. So the next time I'll be posting a video about this Dylan XL 750 is to just show you that I was reloading my nine millimeter ammos already. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video or this is your first time to see my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.